Hey guys, it's Mike from Appster88 here. Um, I'd like to begin this video by apologizing for the lack of videos lately. Me and Matt, the two owners of this channel, have decided that we're going to start doing a lot of videos now. Um, we haven't done many lately. And we're both going to do videos on our other channels, which will either be on the screen or in the description or both. Um, but yeah, so he already made a couple videos. He made an apology video too, that saying how we're going to start making more and stuff. But I just had to say that coming from me. Um, I'm going to start with my. I'm going to start a video coming back. Um, some of the top apps on my iPad, which I recently got, or I got an iPad a little bit ago, lost my iPod, so now he's going to be doing basically the iPod apps, I'm going to be doing the iPad, and we're going to do other stuff like headphones and stuff. I have a pair of really nice Bose headphones I'd like to review for you guys, um, maybe some computer tutorials and stuff on different video games or something like that. Um, I don't really know yet, um, but... This series, this is going to be a sh like a kind of series on the channel where I do what's on my iPad and I'll pick four, five, six apps on my iPad that I use regularly or I think are really good or something like that. I'll pick them for some reason. Um, so you can see what I have on my iPad that you guys can get on yours. Um, but alright, these are five apps I've picked for this first episode of this or video of this. Um, let me just fix the camera. Alright. Um, this first app right here, this is called App Advice. Not a game, but a application that helps you, that talks about different apps, um, different Apple things. This is, they have, they do these about every day where it tells you, um, different games that went on sale or something every once in a while they'll tell you like they'll have best iPhone apps of the week, best iPad um, right here was one for this is a sale for the weekend it tells you every single app in the app store that is going on sale how low they're lowering the price to and everything and you just click on the name and it'll bring it up in the app store I use this app almost every day when I at least when I have internet and stuff and I'm not on vacation because it, it saves it saved me probably over a hundred dollars worth of apps because there are multiple games where there are ten dollar apps and stuff and I've gotten them for ninety nine cents just by waiting for a sale and this app telling me when they're on sale they'll have sales on holiday weekends and stuff a lot of the times and this is like the more like the recent and important articles um, these are basically all of them in a row depending on like the time they were uh, put in. They even have things about like the i the iPhone 5 coming out, articles about that. But yeah, I use this app a lot and I find it very useful for saving me money especially. Um, this second app is a game called Reckless Getaway. Oh, and that first app, App Advice, that cost $1.99 in the App Store. Oh, let me turn this volume down a little bit. And this game Reckless Getaway. It cost $2.99 in the App Store and has recently become a huge hit on the App Store. So basically, it's about you robbing a bank and getting away. Um, in this game, you don't actually rob the bank, but I'll start with the tutorial. You just drive the car as the getaway driver. Um, so you got two arrows on either side where you steer. And I'm doing this through the camera, so sorry if I mess up. This is tells you you gotta earn coin, get coins to get stars. Every time you get a certain amount of coins, one of these stars fills up and which you need to get certain amount of stars before you can get to other levels. Um, if you hit cars you get points like doing that or you don't want to hit them head on because then it damages you and once you wreck you can only get a certain amount of stars. It takes away from your max thing. Um, so there's coins all over the place, and I'm waiting for a power-up to come. Oh, and the cops try and hit you and destroy your car. So he just hit me. And your health bar is right there. 
And you can try and take out the cops for extra points too. And I'm waiting for a power up to come along. I haven't seen one yet. They'll come out of everywhere and just try and attack you. And a lot of tips and hints because it's the tutorial. Oh, and here, question marks. There's three different kinds of power-ups. Jumping, speed boost, and um, pulse, up, pa pulse powers, which I got the speed boost. So you tap on it and you go faster. Basically, um, the pulse is where it pushes all the cars away from you, which is helpful in tight situations. And jumping means you jump really high, and it helps avoid things. Um, that's the second app that I play a lot. It's pretty new, so... Um, Alright, so the third app I'm going to be talking about is called Splash Top. Um, basically, it is an application, it's right here, that's the icon. It's an application where you use your iPad to connect to a computer on the same Wi-Fi network, and I think they have a beta where you can connect to computers on other, other networks. Um, I'm not sure if they're fully done with that yet because it still has some bugs but this app cost 10 bucks 9.99 in the app store I'm just gonna cover up my IP addresses right here for my two computers um, the downstairs one and my laptop oops not that one I'm gonna connect to this one and you'll watch it'll say connecting to computer um, it's ten dollars in the app store it's a bit pricey but I think it's worth it for what it it, for how what it does and how well it does it this is basically it tells you how to control your computer because that's what you're doing with this app you're controlling your computer with a touch screen on your iPad it tells you all the things drag tap click and yes I know my downstairs desktop is a little messy and I, there's a notification up from iTunes that won't go away but I can just get rid of that um, and, as you can see, someone downstairs is playing around with the computer. Um, but yeah, basically that's the application. You can just click on stuff to con control it. Um, open up the internet. Basically, this is a way to watch Flash on your iPad. Um, so yeah, it's really useful. See how it's just basically showing an extension of your monitor. Yeah. And that's basically all. Alright, so this fourth application I'd like to go over is called Photo Studio HD. This costs $2.99 in the App Store. I also got this one on sale from that App Advice app. It told me this was on sale for $0.99, cents, so I got it and picked it up. It's pretty useful, especially if you're one of those people who likes to post a lot of Facebook pictures, especially when they have effects. So you can either take a photo, photo out, get something out of your album, or get something from your documents um, with, that you put on your iPad. Like if you upload a Word document, you can take a picture right out of that. I'm going to do my album, camera roll, and do this picture I downloaded off the internet of a cabin in the woods. Fix the camera. And you got, up here you got load photo, save, which load photo is what we just did, and you can save it, undo, redo, tools, which got crop, rotate, and resize, options, you got all preview quality, hidden effects, um, amazing facts, reset all, and you got print if you have a wireless printer, you got categories, so you can go through the effects, you can pay for extra ones too. So you can go through that way, fill effects, you can favorite some, and presets. You can add presets so you know what to do. So uh, you can do color, charcoal, just, there's a ton of effects, just keep scrolling through. Um, do everything from that to that, put fire on it, two different kinds of fire. This app is really cool because you can do this. And it's called Ancient Canvas. You can also adjust how much you want it, and it'll just adjust it automatically. I could do I could do this. Apply this. It's gonna process. 
think a couple seconds while reading an amazing fact. Then I can go up to here and add a kiss mark to it. I don't know why I'd want to do that because it seems kind of weird, but I could, technically. And there you go. You have your finished product. You can zoom in and out. See, you. and you just hit save. Save to a photo album, documents, clipboard. You can upload it to Flickr, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, or Mail. So if you're one of those people who does a whole bunch of Facebook pictures, you could just do it right from here, right from your application. And that's the end of the tour of that fourth app. Now, this fifth application, I'm going to need to move the camera. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this, fi this fifth application is called Ball Invasion. It cost $1.99 in the App Store. And this is a fairly new kind of thing. I'm just going to hit play. Now this is called, uh, oh, hold on, I need to put on a light. Alright, that's better. Now I can pick it up. So basically you aim it at something that has a lot of detail. Tap the screen to initiate, and just slide it over so it can see everything around it. And then it says, well done, and now you play your game. This is, uh, I forget what this is called, but it basically puts these uh, balls on your screen. And you can basically, you can't really see it with the video. You can move your iPad around it and look at different things. And if you lose it, it'll just say, move it back. And then you shoot at these things. If you notice, the ball actually looks like it's bouncing off the picture in the background. It gets boring after a while, but I think that this concept is very cool on how they can do this and I think I read somewhere something about this being just a test game and that they're going to start making a lot more interactive games with, with this technology but that's that app okay so this has been Appster88 um, well, this has been Mike from Appster88 me and Matt are planning on making more videos soon, and a lot of them. So just stick around, um, subscribe, subscribe to our other channels. Matt 8 Matt 405 is his channel. Celtics 951753 is my my channel, and those will be in the description, so you can subscribe to the to those too. He does reviews on uh, some other stuff that's not tech like, and other videos. I do kind of stupid videos where me and my friends do tricycle stunts and stuff where we shoot tricycles off jumps at high speeds and stuff. Yeah, I'm planning on doing more on that channel too, but um, just subscribe to us if you like us, and see you later. Bye.